Real Life Foods, Allergen-Free Foods Prepared for Restaurants by Elizabeth Holden, Mark Roots, Robert Byrne, and John Clausen. So change slides. Welcome to Real Life Foods by Elizabeth Holden, Mark Roots, Robert Byrne, and John Clausen. Change slides. Blue Ocean Strategy, the focus of real life foods. Operate a dedicated allergen-free commercial kitchen, manufacturing allergen-free foods, products for the restaurant industry, offering appetizers, entrees, dessert items. Real Life Foods customers are restaurants who serve allergen-free foods and restaurants not yet serving allergen-free foods. The future product line extensions is going to be vending machines, grocers, health food stores, contractual production. Next slide. Target restaurant patron is a typical restaurant goer, someone that's there all the time. Restaurant goer affected by allergens, they go, but they're a little leery. Then the non-restaurant goer affected by allergens that's just too scared to go. The menu items will appeal to all of them. The regular guy, the ones that they're off and on, and then this one that's not. And of course, the vegan restaurant patron that doesn't want any part of the meat product. Next slide. Our evidence of interest. People are interested in different foods. There are a variety of types of diets in the world. People have a variety of allergies outside the top eight listed. Some people are allergic to unknown type of foods. Allergies like vinegar, mold to produce different types of foods, funguses, which are mushrooms. Next slide. The impact of the allergens. Allergies impact 30 to 35% of the population. Seven out of 10 allergic reactions occur while eating out. 90% of allergic reactions are caused by the big eight, which are milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, peanuts, tree nuts, soy, wheat, and gluten. The severity of the allergic reactions varies. Some people just get a little itching, funny feeling, upset stomach, nausea, vomiting, all that. And then there's the severity of ones where people stop breathing, their throat soil shut, and they break out in hives. That's when an EpiPen and an emergency run to the hospital is needed. Next slide. So my name is Robert Byrne. And when it comes to reaching beyond existing demand, at this time, restaurants do not provide enough allergen-free options to those who struggle with these allergies. As we can see, the amount of affected individuals is increasing year over year. In 2000, one in every 1,000 individuals were affected, and as recently as 2005, it was all the way up to one in every 133. Our products would bring these potential non-customers back to the restaurant business. But in addition with that, our products will also be available in the restaurants for the rest of the population that also eat out at the establishments that have our products. And in the future, we're also looking at having our products in the hospitals, schools, and retirement homes. Uh, next slide. So taking a current look at the restaurant industry, there are currently over 1 million U.S. restaurants, which have a revenue of close to $800 billion, which is quite a sizable industry when we're talking about creating a blue ocean impact. The current ratio of consumers that take in versus, or take, eat in, sorry, versus take out is roughly 50-50. And at these establishments, the menu prices increase pretty much with the rate of inflation. More importantly, though, the, there was a survey done of the chefs that work in these restaurants, and 40% of them recognized that there was a general lack of awareness when it became to the allergen big eight, which is the 90% of the um, food that uh, has these allergic reactions. Can go to the next slide. Um, so the reasons why the restaurant industry has an overall positive outlook going forward 
um, is there is a very positive outlook for the economy in 2018. And because of this, this will be an increase in discretionary income that consumers will be able to go out more and eat out more. Uh, also, uh, when it comes to more of the legislative side of things, uh, the FDA enforces the Food Allergen Labeling and Consumer Protection Act of 2004, which is a US law that requires all food labels in the United States list the ingredients that may cause allergic reactions. This has been a big help to those individuals who suffer from food allergies, notifying them of what they need to avoid. Some of the industry hot topics include culinary concepts with nutrition, vegan, and gluten-free options, meal kits that can be provided for, by restaurants for home prep, predictive ordering technology, and some automated food preparation as well. We can go to the next slide. Uh, when talking about value innovation, value innovation is key when it comes to the success of a blue ocean strategy. The new product or service must create such a leap in value that it opens a previously untapped market. Our service will bring new customers into the marketplace that previously would avoid restaurant establishments due to the limited allergen-free options. This also increases the value of restaurant owners to provide our products in their restaurants for these allergen uh, afflicted individuals. Our kitchen allows restaurants to prevent allergic reactions and our featured products, which are allergen free desserts, create this increase in value as well because in today's industry, these options are extremely limited. You can go on to the next slide. My name is John Clausen, and I'll be introducing to you the analytical structures that were used to evaluate this business concept and its, uh, its value innovation and its value differentiation within the market. Now, as Elizabeth had uh, shared with you, uh, our concept is a commercial kitchen, which is actually preparing allergen-free foods for the restaurant industry. And our concept was really born out of operating a, an allergen-free restaurant, but we uh, decided that there would be greater impact to the industry or, or to our, our the value for our stakeholders if we were to serve the entire industry and not just one particular local population through a restaurant. So in looking at that structure, here is the four actions framework analytical structure that was developed by uh, Kim and, and uh, Mal Bournier in their book, Blue Ocean Strategy. So there's four free, uh, four concepts that we want to review in determining the value that, that we bring to this concept. Those four are uh, what we would eliminate from the business to uh, provide continued value differentiation, what's raised, what's reduced, and what's created. So if we take a look first at what's eliminated, we will be eliminating the allergen risk to restaurant consumers that want to visit uh, and have an experience uh, at a restaurant. Secondly, we're going to eliminate allergen ingredients from any recipes uh, for the products that we provide. And then thirdly, we're gonna eliminate cross-contamination that, that is suspect in any kitchen. And, and as a dedicated allergen-free kitchen, we will be eliminating that exposure and risk uh, to, uh, to consumers through the product. Secondly, I'll re review the, what is being reduced uh, with our concept. So first, we will be reducing the cost to manufacture products. Since we are uh, manufacturing product for the entire restaurant industry, that certainly will allow us to distribute costs and our cost structure will be, will be uh, lower as a result. Secondly, we'll reduce the risk to restaurants uh, in their ingredients they would use for uh, the products that they serve their patrons. And we do that uh, since we will control what ingredients go into each recipe. We will raise the awareness and availability of allergen-free products to the restaurant industry. That's the need right now. Um, Elizabeth shared that there's approximately 30% of the population that's affected. Next, we'll raise the restaurant's image. We give them an additional segment on the population that they can serve and attract and appeal to. And then lastly, they will, will raise the product labeling requirements that, uh, that we'll employ with our products identifying uh, ingredients in the recipes and also the nutritional value that we provide. Lastly, we'll identify or, or identify what's being created in our business strategy. First is we are creating an opportunity for allergen prone consumers to eat out. So there's a segment of this, of the, uh, of this group that will not eat out because of the risk that that's imposed upon them uh, by taking that uh, by going out and being exposed potentially to allergen components. The last thing that's being created is awareness. 
of the need and the value in the restaurant industry for this product. Next, we'll take a look at the strategy canvas uh, for a commercial kitchen. <clears throat> this, this value differentiation uh, exercise is really between competitive commercial kitchens, and uh, we assessed three different uh, competitors in this field. So the first one would be Real Life Foods, which is identified here with the red line. Uh, we are a dedicated allergen-free kitchen. So we control all those allergen components coming in and the practices that are used in handling the food. The second competitor is a competitive allergen-free commercial kitchen. So this would be a kitchen that is providing uh, products that would be labeled as allergen-free, but may not practice the same uh, kitchen principles, separation of equipment, ha food handling that, uh, that we are uh, specializing in. And then the third competitor is a standard uh, commercial kitchen providing product for the entire industry, but not focusing on allergen-free food products. <clears throat> The elements that we uh, reviewed in developing this, this value canvas is uh, dedicated kitchens for allergen-free practices and components, uh, kosher practices where certain food products would be isolated or eliminated from the, from the facility. So as an example, kosher principles would eliminate exposure of milk products with, with your food recipes. The next component would be vegan gluten-free offerings. Next segment would be the ingredients or, or the labeling practices and the ingredients and nutrition values that would be identified on each product. The next segment is desserts. And we determined that this would be a, a product specialization for us to focus on as well. Um, we feel that there is a, a segment out there that's not being um, uh, considered in the, mess, in the restaurant menu structure there. Next to last would be the vending products that we would offer to that industry as an extension or, or a market extension for us. And then certainly we wanna review what the price structure looks like uh, competitively. So when we take a review of this uh, map, we see that we will offer value differentiation in the areas of a dedicated allergen-free kitchen. In the kitchen practices that we will uh, utilize being kosher, the dessert options that we will offer and specialize in, and then offering vending products to the vending industry for a matter of convenience for, for certain customers. So that this is where Real Life Foods provides strategic innovation and differentiation with our uh, business concept. Next slide, please. Hi, my name is Mark Ruiz, and I'm, we're going to talk about the three characteristics of a good strategy. So every great strategy has three consistent char char characteristics that set them apart. The characteristics need for a good strategy are the following. Focus, allergen-free entry, appetizers, dessert for the restaurant. Divergence, step out eye restaurant operations to serve the entire industry. And then a good tagline safe eating with confidence. With customers' concerns and weariness to ease, knowing we provide safe, a safe product and a safe environment. Next slide. Reduce risk. No cross contamination, reduce liability for the restaurants and less frequent allergic reactions. The convenience is an ease of availability for customers, ingredients for recipes for the restaurants, and vending options as well. The convenience of having a clean kitchen is to avoid contamination from foods that could cause someone to get sick. Simplification is a consumer's lifestyle and a fun and image to provide image for the restaurant providing our products. Next slide, please. And in conclusion, being able to reach beyond existing demand to maximize the newly created blue ocean is key. Most targets to differentiate tiers of non-customers. Tier number one, people with food intolerance that infrequently visit the restaurants. Tier number two, people with food allergies that feel restaurants are too dangerous. And the last tier, tier number three, those suffering from food allergies that have never been, that have never even considered the market, the market previously. Thank you.